that's in here. He's just not behaving. Or he's actually trying to behave, but he's not doing what I want to. Come here. Come here. Right here, look. You want it? Come here. Come. Go get it. Come here. Just freaking out that he's going to make the camera fall. And I do that very well on my own. Say hi! Say hi everybody! I'm here today! Have an eye pokey. Sit. Fist bump. Good. Don't draw on me. Have a kiss? He's feeling a little better today, I think. What is it today? Say it's Tag Tuesday! And we are going to finish our Harry Potter tag. We are going to do the part two questions, which are, I believe, 19 through 35. So, um... Let's get this started, since so good. more videos too. Right? Right, and you can lay on my lap and help. I am ripping Slytherin and Ravenclaw, aka Slytherin. Just for this tip. Alright, uh, Harry, it is the <coughs> Harry Potter tag, part two. Alright, part two questions, 19. Your top thing, person or event, um, that wasn't in the movie that you wanted there the most. Right here. Um, one, well, there's a couple of things. So I'm just really just going to mention one, um, and that was uh, Dumbledore's funeral. Um, that was in the book, and not in the film, and I think... I think that that was something they should have left in the film, or put in the film. I think they may not have done that, though, uh, for, you know, the younger um, fans, the little kids. Maybe they couldn't handle that, but then again, considering how dark and violent the films are anyway, I really don't see much difference, but I wish that had been in the film. 20. If you could remake any of the Harry Potter movies... Uh, which would it be? Now, I'm going to say none because I, I love them as is, but however, I wasn't a huge fan of Chamber of Secrets or Goblet of Fire, but would I change them really? No, because they're, they're here, they're part of my love, they're part of the, the fandom, the culture surrounding Harry Potter, so I'd say no. Um, which house was your first gut feeling you'd be a part of? Um, well, in, in reading the, the books and, and whatnot, and getting a, a feel of the houses individually, um, I would say obviously Slytherin, um, not for the bad aspects, but the good aspects of what Slytherin stands for, um, as well as Ravenclaw, um, because they're all, like, really hardcore book nerds, you know, the, the very smart kids, um, it, it kind of reminds me of the people that I, I was in school with when I took when I was in some of the gifted program classes. So um, I really my first instinct was Slither call Slither Slither Dang I cannot talk today. Um Slytherin but I also feel that love for, for Ravenclaw. Um twenty two. Which house were you actually sorted into on Pottermore. Well, I've taken it several times because it's fun, 
but um, 99% of the time it was Slytherin, but I also have ranked as Ravenclaw, and so I like to say I'm a proud Slytherclaw. Uh, which class would be your favorite? Um, or favorite? I have three, um, Defense Against the Dark Art. Potions, because I like to cook, I think I'd be good at potions as well. And on um, Hagrid Magical Beast class, because I love animals. Um, 24, which spell do you think would be most useful to learn? Um, I'd like to say Avonic Cadabra. Um, for one, if you really want to bump somebody off, not that that's a very good spell, but I can see it would come in handy as a means of defense and protection. Um, so I would have to say that one just based on those those things alone. Um, 25. Which character do you think you'd instantly become friends with? Um, adult wise, probably Lupin. Um, just the whole wolf thing. But um, and maybe Snape. Because he is kind of that um, misfit outcast um, that nobody understands or cares to give a chance to understand. I relate to that. And so I love me some stuff. And as far as the kids go, I'd say Luna for the same reasons as Snape. Because um, I kind of feel like she fits into that as well. And then I'd have to say Ron and his brothers, Fred George, the Weasley twins, because they're all about breaking the rules, but you're still a good person. You just like to be a bit of a clown and be funny, and I like that. Um, 26. If you could have the Resurrection Stone, the Invisibility Cloak, or the Elder Wand, which would you choose? I'd like to think maybe the Invisibility... Uh, I just cannot talk to the invisibility cloak because um, there's sometimes you just want to go places and do things and not have to be bothered. So probably that. Plus I'd probably rob a bank <laughs> or go kick somebody's butt and no one would have to see me. Um, is there any aspect? Any aspect of the books you'd want to change. Same thing with the films. I like them as is. Um, so I wouldn't want to change them for anything. Um, I absolutely love them the way they are. Um, 28. Favorite Marauder. Well, I can think of two. Rumble Bear. Say, Headfoot and Mooney. Who well, you're named after, right, Mooney? So, Sirius Black and Remus Lupin, of course, whom Hadwood is named after. Um, if you could bring back, or bring one character back to life, which would it be? Um, and I had to write this answer um, down, um, so I wouldn't forget it all. But I, I said, I couldn't bring back just one. It's kind of one of those all or nothing things. I have my favorite characters, but it seems unfair to pick and choose what good people to bring back because all the people that that died in the Battle of Hogwarts and through other um, issues through the books were very good people. So I couldn't, as much as I want to say uh, Sirius and Remus and Snape, um, there's a lot of other excellent characters that were good people that didn't deserve to die and I wish I could bring them all back but you can't choose just one like that so I in all reality I'd have to say no. Um, 30. Hallows or Horcruxes? Hallows of course because they seem those seem to have a not background but but a better meaning than what Word for us to stand for. Put it like that. Um, parts of the books or the films that made you cry. Obviously, Dumbledore's death. 
Um, definitely Snape's death. And I think the one that just absolutely killed it for me was, um, and I get all weepy thinking about it, but when Bellatrix kills Sirius, you know, not only did she just kill him because she's a heartless witch, um, but that was family. She killed family. And I couldn't imagine hurting a family member. Got the hiccups? So, that one really got to me. And also, one that I just happened to pop in my head right now is um, when Professor Slughorn and Harry are at Hagrid's hut and Hagrid's passed out drunk and, um, and Professor Slughorn and Harry are a little tipsy and Slughorn tells Harry about the memory he had of um, the goldfish that was given to him by, I'm getting all weepy, um, given to him by Harry's mother, Lily, um, I swear, that just gets me every time, I just start boohooing, 32, if you could hook up with any HP character, who would it be, and, like I said before, and I'll have to, like, get a shot of this over on my wall, next to my bed, um, but it is, uh, I'd have to say, I really want to, just a big old Morsum Forsum with, with Sirius and Remus and Snape. That is, uh, I, with these, these photos I have of them, the three of them up there on the wall, I call it my wall of husbands, my, my wall of future husbands, but, um, it would definitely be the, those three. Oh, yeah. And, just for good measure, let's throw Bellatrix in there, too. Um, what would your Patronus be? A Patronus in the Wizard World is kind of similar to what us natives would call our, our spirit or totem animal. And, um... You can definitely have more than one, but you have a main one, which mine happens to be a bear. I, I actually went through a, a ceremony with a shaman when I was a kid, and I was given that totem spirit as, as my animal. But um, considering how I feel about wolves, I would have to pick wolf as well. So, bear or wolf. Two, two. If you could meet any of the HP actors, who would it be? Um, well, definitely Alan Rickman would have been one. But that's never going to happen now that he's gone. However, um, a few years ago at a con, I did meet uh, Tom Felton. And I still occasionally get to talk to him online. And through that, I... I got to know Alan Rickman a bit, um, and he was such a nice guy, but I just never got to meet him in person, and that breaks my heart. Um, as far as anyone else I would love to meet, definitely, um, Gary Oldman, because he is just an excellent British actor in general, and David Thewlis, Thewlis, I have a hard time saying his last name, who plays Remus Lupin. Um, I absolutely adore him. He's so cute. I just would love to meet him. Um, but I'd love to meet any of them, actually. Anybody from the films. They're just... The Harry Potter universe is, like, my world. Um, and 35, the last question. How much does um, Harry Potter mean to you? Um, I started reading the books before the first film came out. Um, I went to all but one of the films um, when they were at the cinema. The one I missed was Order of the Phoenix. That was around the time that my mom died and so I just wasn't in a good place at the time to see that one. But what got me through my mother's death and a lot of other struggles I was going through at the time with, like, with my health and um, trying to get my, my home back, and just a lot of very bad things I was going through. Um, 
I was always watching the Harry Potter films because I, I had the first four on DVD. I had the books and um, reading them while going through all those things just it meant it really meant a lot to me and I can't say why it just did and I, like I said before I have this connection to Harry Potter as a character as someone who is orphan because a lot of those of us who are adopted because I'm adopted um we kind a lot of us kind of feel in a way that we are orphans and then now that my adopted parents are gone and I don't have any family that orphan feeling feels even stronger so um and and with with Harry Potter his friends become his chosen family and that's how I've always been about my friends they're not they're not my friends they're my family they're the family that I chose for myself and seeing that in Harry Potter also just makes me feel really really good and I love that so um Harry Potter has definitely meant the world to me these especially in these last few years and obviously this character right here is part of that I'm sure my blue bear so Harry Potter is definitely a big part of this house, and um, it, it's just been one of my top favorite fandoms since it, 2001. It, that's when I saw the first film at this and the day it came out. But um, I started reading the books, like I said, before I saw the first film when it was released. But um, it was seeing that first film and seeing that book come to life that just pulled me in and I was a fan instantly and hooked. I still had some items that my mother had um, got me for the my first Yule um, in 2001 say, after seeing the Harry Potter films. And I still have those with the Harry Potter blanket. Um, another one of the books um, and they're hanging on the wall over there so I can't really um, reach out and get them but uh, it's a little package of I think five Harry Potter ornaments and their characters and they're in a box they're hanging on the wall so and I definitely also it means a lot to me because it's, it's a connection to my mom so but I'm gonna end it there before I get all weepy again See, even, that's how much Harry Potter means to me. It makes me so get a big, weepy, sentimental mess. Anyway, um, as far, uh, oh, as far as tagging those, um, as far as tagging those same people, um, that I tagged for the first one, I don't, I, I'm, I'm behind on videos, uh, with everything that me and Padfoot's been going through, so I don't know. Um, if anyone at all has um, answered the questions to the first tag, but I'm going to tag them anyway. But if you would like to do the tag and um, come back and link it in the comments below, please do that because I, I really love hearing everybody's answers. Hey, hey, hey! Where are you going? I'm about to get a biscuit. So, um, the people that I tagged before was Geek Delicious Girl, Kasha in Wonderland, Cat D, Hello Kitsies, and Ultimate Geek Zone. And anyone else who wants to do it, please do. And that is it for us on this video. This boat. High five. That's my boob in the hair. Big boob. High five. Yeah. What do we tell everybody? Ugh! That is just... I hate when he drools down my arm. What do we tell everybody? You pulled my hair. Say, thank you, kisses. Right back at her. Say, like, come here. Oh, no. Come here. Sit. You're not getting off the bed right now. Say, like.
comment, subscribe, high five, yeah. And that's it for us. Stick around, we've got more to come.